Poppy Playtime just got a bunch of news with updates on Chapter 3's development, some good news for Poppy Playtime on console, multiple in-game posters for the third chapter release, some behind the scenes that tell us a bunch about the games, and even multiple new monsters revealed that could show up in Chapter 3 and beyond. So first with some minor Chapter 3 updates, with the game being super close to being finished as we'll mention soon, people have been wondering when are we going to get some more official updates about the chapter, like a trailer or teaser or just something. Especially now that they ended the ARG from last week, meaning there won't be any more updates over there. And at the very least, on their Discord server, the developers recently made a minor statement basically just saying and reaffirming that there is going to be some Chapter 3 news of some sort coming out very soon. Which is a massive sigh of relief since it's been a while since we've actually heard from the devs outside of an occasional minor ARG update. And so hopefully we can hear what they have to say in the near future. In fact, somebody asked the devs how much longer we will have to wait, getting the response not terribly long as some more reassurance. So while the community is grasping at straws now for updates at this point, it at least seems like we don't have too much longer to go, at least for some news. In fact, funny enough, as I'm editing this video, we just got some big Chapter 3 teases. As recently, Poppy Playtime over in Japan started doing a new Christmas pop-up shop that sold a bunch of merchandise, of course, for the holiday season. And while some people were touring the store, there was a bunch of cool exclusive art which is neat but there was also two brand new posters revealed at this shop on display for chapter 3 as well with the smiling critters and the first one here shows catnap laying over huggy wuggy's bed saying get some rest while of course huggy is fast asleep which will presumably be hung in the bedroom areas of the play care also saying in the bottom left all employees should adhere to the recommended four to five hours of sleep before work which is pretty funny and then the second poster here shows hoppy hopscotch dog day and and kick and chicken all playing a game of hopscotch saying when the bell rings stop playing get in line return to class which references the classrooms we have seen in other screenshots of the chapter and also sort of implies that there is a playground area in the playcare that the children went to recess in which we've seen a few other teases of before so these are some other nice extra teasers to hold you guys down for the meantime plus alongside chapter three they also announced earlier this year that poppy playtime chapter one was coming on to consoles before 2023 ends and recently a fan asked if they were still planning to release chapter one to console devices this year where developer and animator malachi actually responded saying i know we are nearing the final stages so it seems like as far as we know they are still on track with the release date of 2023 with the console release and are moving into the final stages as they say of development before we can finally get that hopefully before the year ends and in fact Fact, they even also clarified when asked that chapter 3 was also in its final stages of development as well so it seems like both games are going full steam ahead and we can once again expect to hear more about them in the next few weeks as the year comes to a close on a bit of a sadder note the poppy community has recently been a little bit down as yesterday the higher up developers micah and zachary announced that they were actually leaving the company along with the former head of production andy who all posted their own threads talking about working on the game and how they left for creative and managerial differences and all these employees were probably very involved with chapter three so i'm very interested to see what happens for future chapters and updates but i'm staying optimistic that everything will work out okay and i hope their future goes well as well however the biggest thing and main topic of today's video is that recently a bunch of youtubers in poppy playtime's partner program which i have also recently joined if you didn't know received a bunch of brand new behind the scenes photos and videos into chapter one and chapter two with concept art designs even scrapped characters and while the vast majority of the stuff is lost content that will never come out i have some theories about what it could all mean for the next chapters so first starting with chapter one the first interesting thing is that originally chapter one had a few different playground areas with monkey bars walls and slides which we now know was all changed and reused for statues in chapter two which is pretty neat and the monkey bars are even shows a scrapped character of a snake which is super cool to see next there is a bunch of concept art given to us for boogie bot who is a character in the game that is never really talked about or mentioned much but based on this art he was supposed to have all sorts of emotions that would give the character life and maybe even be able to answer some sort of questions or give quizzes judged from the reaction scene on the right plus he has more full-blown concept art showing all of the different parts of his body and how they would work in the game even including 3d models so for some reason boogie bot was clearly meant to be a bigger part of the chapter as a whole but was completely removed 
Canada. Next, we are shown concept art for Gumball Cat, who's now known as Candy Cat, and its toy version is meant to be a gumball machine on wheels. And while I will stress again that this is all cut content that wasn't necessarily put into the game, the design of Candy Cat outside of the name change is exactly the same as this concept art, so we can at least make the assumption that this is how Candy Cat will work in the factory if we ever see them in game. We can also see a 3D model for the Braun character labeled for chapter one, which is extremely interesting considering that in the chapter one trailer, we also saw a fully moving Braun for the first and so far only time inside of the game, which all points to the idea that Braun was actually meant to be in chapter one in some way and even had different models for it, but was shoved to the side for some reason, making me really wonder if maybe they are saving him in his appearance for something more important later in the game, especially since earlier this year, they released a whole VHS tape all about him, where an employee who worked in the play care, Thomas Clark, was literally turned into the Braun toy himself. So maybe we will instead see this version of him in chapter three. But back to the BTS stuff, one of my favorite things they showed off was this little art that showed two different forms of Cat B. One as an innocent bored toy and another as a completely dead rotting away toy in pieces. And what you'll notice is that this dead version of Cat B looks nothing like the real dead Cat Bs we see in the actual game who were just toys with blood all over them. And instead, this version has razor sharp teeth and missing eye sockets, looking very similar to things like the way Bunzo looks in his render of his monster version after dying as well. Possibly showing us what Cat B was or could look like in the game in her monster version, featuring way bigger wings and sharp protruding teeth like the rest of the monsters in the factory. And finally, for chapter one, we got this concept art that shows three wind-up dolls with no names on them, once a cat, a human, and a pig, along with one more piece of Huggy Wuggy concept art that shows in his monster version that he used to have multiple super sharp teeth on his tongues, and even eyeballs in his mouth, which looks super cool. But moving over into chapter two's cut content, this is where things get a lot more interesting, as they first gave us some models of the green hand room, and even some super vague video as well, which doesn't tell us very much, but they also gave us some bigger things like a much closer look at some of the concept art for the game station that they showed before in their own chapter two behind the scenes video, which shows us like we've seen before that the game station used to be a lot bigger with a sun and moon on top of the roof. But what makes these teasers more interesting is that we also got this photo of the actual roof with big holes where the sun and moon should be, essentially meaning they were probably separate assets from the roof. And based on this screenshot, they were probably meant to glow on command to change it from night and day in the factory. And this matters because the developers all the way back in May actually hinted at the idea that some of the scrapped content from the game station in chapter two would instead be moved over into the play care. And in chapter three's promotional images and teasers, we could see that the play care sometimes used fake lighting to trick students into thinking it was daytime, along with there literally being kids drawings of a moon under a roof of some sort, despite the play care being down in the basement of the factory. So it seems like this old roof design could be carried over somewhere in chapter three. Plus, looking at the photos, you can see labels for some of the rooms in the old game station, like this one that says memory and cognitive training, probably being a beta name for musical memory with Bunzo Bunny. And also this one saying something about problem solving, which is probably another scrapped game station game that they just chose not to include. But then moving on, we also got some concept art of some sort of race area with a foam pit and a bunny that was later reused for statues, along with some more concept art that shows the three slides from statues, but instead with candy cat designs on them for some reason. Then finally, we are shown an old design of mommy long legs, and weirdly enough, a design of some random baby in a chicken outfit as well, which I'm assuming is some type of doll like Poppy that they just chose to scrap. There was also a bunch of other scrap rooms and designs I didn't talk about because they didn't really matter. But overall, this is a ton of super cool information, just as a little bit of an appetizer while we wait for more from the Poppy Playtime developers. And as I mentioned before, it even gives a little bit of info on what we can expect for chapter three, at least with some of the locations and stuff they may include from the scraps of the older games. Not to mention that as a whole, they gave us four different designs for characters that literally never released. The wind up toys, the baby doll, a snake, and a bunny of some sorts. And while we can assume the bunny and snake were likely just scrapped away and replaced with PJ Pugapillar because they used to be in the statues area, I'm very curious in these two sets of characters 
characters we see here we were never given any type of concept art about what they could do and they don't even have a name associated with them meaning they were likely early prototype toys that they just didn't end up using but i wouldn't forget about them immediately because as we saw the developers are very much willing to take out characters like candy cat and daisy the flower and seemingly even characters like boogie bot and Bron, who were supposed to have a larger appearance in the first couple chapters but still hide them and tease them around the game as minor characters so maybe these toys could show up around in different types of redesigns or callbacks or even easter eggs later on but i don't know we'll see along with this cool bts though the devs have been doing tons of other things like releasing youtube shorts versions of all their old teasers which have some cool new edits on them and like we mentioned doing pop-up events in places like japan probably as a marketing move to keep the hype up for chapter 3 as it gets closer to release so there is definitely more news to be had super soon at least i theorize and hope so subscribe for whenever that comes